Hello guys, this is going to be my first review for Crap Cinema Central and today I'm going to be reviewing The Entity Force. This is a low budget supernatural thriller stroke horror from way back 19 something or other. Yeah, that's a good start to a review isn't it? Just, I haven't even looked at any of this shit, I don't suppose it even matters. But what does matter is it's a crap movie and I'm going to review it. Um, basic premise of the movie is there's a, a, a group of sorority students are, are, are setting up a, a, a pledge night for one of their new uh, conscripts or whatever you call them. And they decide to make her spend the night in a mausoleum where a recently deceased um, telekinetic bad guy has been uh, housed. He's, he's dead. The, the, as the movie opens up with a a scene in an apartment with a big pile of bodies and it, it, it all pretty grim by all accounts and it, it did show a little bit of promise to begin with. Um, a few spooky things happening in the apartment, they don't know what's going on and, and this all these bodies are transported to this uh, mausoleum. Um, before I go any further I will just point out I, I was very distracted watching this movie and I probably can't do it any real level of justice simply because it was it it didn't hold my attention. I kept thinking of other things, looking in the corner of the room. I went and made a cup of coffee and didn't pause it. It it didn't do a whole lot for me in that respect. So maybe if I'd sat down and concentrated on it a bit more, I might have been able, I might have had a bit more love for it. So again, that's going to reflect in the way I'm reviewing it. So anyway, this uh, these these sorority people they they tease this girl. Eventually, she agrees to go into the mausoleum. And this is where, well, it's probably halfway into the movie before this actually happens, and not a lot happens before then. It's just a little bit of character build-up. Not very well done. You don't get any particular liking for any of the characters, and the acting isn't particularly good, so there's nothing to impress you. Um, they're just the, the, the college kids going about their lives, and the, the sorority girls making preparations to set up this pledge. Anyway, she gets into the, into the mausoleum. And it's uh, it, it it has a creepy feel, and I thought to myself, this has shown a bit of promise. And there's there's a few knocks and a few bumps and there's a couple of little jump scares, and it uh, and it goes from there. The this telekinetic psychic monster guy starts bringing the dead people back to life, and they're all coming out of their their sort the I don't know what you call them big drawers, what they all live in, or what they all die in, they do whatever you know they're in there, they're dead, and and the drawers come open. And, uh, and and the one thing that did stand out to me was the the makeup effects. There's a lot, a lot of these characters on the front represent the corpses that are, are coming out to terrorise the young girl. Um, and the, there's some good makeup effects in it. I was impressed by that. But they they did seem a little bit a little bit amateurish, I suppose. But it was the only thing in the film that actually made me go, oh, I like that. But the 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 sorority girls they all start coming into the mausoleum as well they feel a bit guilty about leaving her on her own and it's all kicking off like I said because I was so distracted I, I don't even remember if if you actually see anybody get killed in this movie um if you did it, it just totally went over my head there's nothing memorable about it in that respect and I think personally because it was the plot was thin the acting was bad. There was you, there was nothing in any of the characters to to, to make you that you could grab onto and and like about them, and I think they just tried to be a serious movie, and if they'd camped it up, and and showed a lot more nudity for a start, a movie like this needs tits. You've got to have a bit of tits and some ass, possibly a bit of front, a bit of bush front or whatever. But they, if they'd camped it up and made it an absolute farce of a movie, it, it would have been more enjoyable as a cheesy bad movie. But they seem to try and make it more of a serious effort and it just simply didn't work. Not for me at least anyway. Um, I did pick this up for a couple of quid on eBay but it's on Amazon. It's a bit expensive on Amazon. If you do get the chance to watch it for a very cheap price or if it's on the net and you can watch it, check it out, see what you think. I'm sure you'll agree with me that it's pretty bad. Some of you might actually think it's very good, I don't know. But uh, that's it anyway. It's, it's Go and watch it. It's a crap movie. That's what we're all here for. We we do this stuff because we like crap movies, I suppose. Get that rubber. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. That's been my first review for Crap Cinema Central. 
Um, bad review though it was. That's just me though. I can't review fucking toffee. Anyway, take it easy guys. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.